The time in late 1990s, when management consultants wrote books with titles such as The War for Talent, there was a great deal of talk about the talent wars. And I think that was the bursting of the bubble with the bursting of the dot-com bubble, and a sense of the people who had been masters of the universe just a few weeks before were out on the streets looking for jobs. I think this created a reaction, it gave me ideas, that there was a war for talent. In fact, all of things we saw in the late 1990s are reasserting themselves now. All those shortages are reasserting themselves, and the real reason, the auditing was really the bursting of the bubble not the shortages of talent. There are very profound structural forces, which are creating these talent shortages. One is the fact that the nature of the economy is changing, it's putting more and more premium upon intellectual skills, analytical skills, creative skills, which are in short supply. So there is a demand increase, but there is also a decrease in supply. Because we're seeing now the aging of the baby boom, the shirking of populations in Europe and Japan, and not very long in China as well, and the sort of stabilization of the population of the United States. So we see a time when there is a greater demand for intellectual skills and slowing down in the supply of people who possess those skills, and also a mismatch between the sort of things that people are learning at school and university, and the sort of things the economy is placing a premium on, particularly with the shortage of trained people in the sciences and engineering. So for all sort of reasons, there's a premium on talent. 